Today is Sunday and last weekend we had a garage sale and I, I, I'm trying to think. I know I've been to garage sales before, but I don't know that I've ever actually hosted. <laughs> is it, do you host a garage sale? I don't think I've ever sold anything at a garage sale. We'll put it that way. And it was last weekend. And so we, we still have like the remnants of a garage sale. We have empty shelves and everything because Andrea got a bunch of stuff from her parents some old like just like old stuff uh, from when she was a kid and they they brought it over many many months ago or we went and got it many many months ago and brought it back here and it's just kind of been piled up in the house so Andrea's like we're doing the, the community garage sale. A, a local realtor puts it out to everybody in the neighborhood that we're doing a garage sale, I'll advertise it. You just lay your junk out on the driveway and uh, you're good to go. We did that and Andrew was super duper stressed about all this. She planned for, gosh, a week to 10 days getting everything organized and she's like, I'll put stickers on everything, but she wanted it to move. So it was priced to go, right? Morning of, we go to get a coffee. It's supposed to start at 7 a.m., right? We go, I think we go get a coffee. The realtor's bringing donuts, so we don't have to worry about food. And we're like, you know what? We'll get up super early. We'll just start setting up leisurely. And that was the first mistake. It was supposed to start at seven, remember. We opened the garage at, oh man, I don't even know, like 5.50. We raised the garage because everything is stored here in the garage. And this is just some of the, the remnants of the process. Open the garage door to start putting things out. And it was like we had I don't even know. It was like Black Friday and we just opened the doors for some magnificent sales because car, 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 car starts pulling up. And people are like, what do you have for sale? What do you have for sale? Do you have any video games? Do you have, do you have any like electronics? And we're like, whoa, 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 no, no, no. Like it's not even 6 a.m. yet and people are flocking on. They're coming into the garage to look at things like, what do you have? What's for sale? How much is this? And Andrea's like, insta stress i'm i'm my eyes are just wide i'm like what is going on because i'd always heard the rumors of the garage sale people and how no matter what time it starts they're going to be there early so it ended up being okay they ended up buying a couple of really big pieces of furniture hello andrea it was 558 558 when the first guy showed up <laughs> and they were all like no it said it said it started at six o'clock and we're like or we're not going to be raised till seven but Someone ended up buying a couple really big pieces of furniture right off the bat and um, everything went okay. <laughs> and then at the end of it, whatever didn't sell, was it Salvation Army? Yeah. Salvation Army came to pick it up. And uh, so we got rid of everything that we were trying to get rid of, but man, I um, be prepared if you ever do a grudge sale. <laughs> She has decided that she wants those boxes right here. So this is the beginning of the end, except for the attic part. All right, so that is um, everything been refilled. And uh, we still have a little bit of extra room right there. Room to grow. And uh, I, I prefer that just means we have less to throw away in the future. Yeah. But we're not quite done now. We have scripts of Andrea's. We'll get way up here, but we have scripts of Andrea's that need to go in the attic. on the other side of um, that wall. definitely pretty warm but as you can see there's um I don't know eight feet by eight feet maybe ten by ten I think it's eight by eight where we can just stack stuff and you know being up here reminds me of 
holiday Christmas movies. <laughs> you know how inevitably the dad or the grandpa ends up up in the attic looking at old home videos from yesteryear or days gone by. And Andrea has a bunch of stuff and her parents have given her a bunch of stuff and, and she grew up on TV. So a lot of her life is documented. A lot of her history is documented and as, as we're going through and doing all this, <laughs> there's nothing of mine. Um, like I said, I, I think, I think my car it's the thing I've had longer than anything else in my current possession, which is crazy. And that's, I don't know, 14 years, 14 years, but I haven't had it that whole time. It's wild. I have, um, I have nothing to tell my story with. And, uh, now that I actually put words to that, it, it kind of makes me sad. I hope, <laughs> hope my mom or my dad or my stepmom have something because um, I've, I've bounced around so much and every time you move either you have to let go of some stuff and over time taking my old stuff just um, it was always the first thing to get chopped so it makes me kind of sad um, oh yeah. so anyways I'm going to uh, unload the rest of the stuff up here and um, then I'm going to call it a day. But if there's one thing that I want you guys to take away from this is you might think it's dumb and corny and takes up space, but make sure you're holding on to something to remind you where you came from.